India could deploy its much-awaited S-400 missile defense system against China as early as the beginning of 2022, if the latest reports are anything to go by. Earlier, various reports suggested that China has set up two squadrons of S-400 batteries at the Hotan Air Base in Xinjiang and Ningchi Air Base in Tibet, close to the disputed line of actual control, LAC. India and China have been locked in a border standoff in eastern Ladakh for more than a year now. Their militaries got engaged in a violent clash in June last year, resulting in the death of 24 soldiers from both sides. Russian firm Almaz Anti Corporation has reiterated that deliveries of the S 400 missile systems would begin from the end of this year, Mikhail Podyasnikov, deputy director general of the state owned company, was quoted as saying. He said the COVID-19 pandemic has not affected the work. Not a single enterprise or workshop suspended their operations for even a single day, both Yasniko old reporters. The final assembly and testing of the S-400 system are currently underway at the Northwestern Regional Center, NWRC, of the Almaz Anti Corporation. It is believed that each of the systems is being tested in a variety of climates, such as heat and cold, moisture and dust along with different ranges of air pressure and elevations. In order to prepare for the effective use of the systems once delivered, a group of Indian military specialists were sent to Russia earlier this year, the Hindu had reported. Referring to the long history of military cooperation between the two countries, the Russian ambassador Nikolai Arkutashi had termed the supply of the Russian S-400 missile systems to India as one of the flagship projects in the Russian-Indian military and military technical cooperation. It seems that the training of the Indian military personnel is progressing smoothly, as Paul Dyasniko said, the Indian officers have experience dealing with Russian equipment and therefore, they mastered new equipment during the training program quite easily. Why the U.S. hates S-400 so much The U.S. discomfort with its allies buying the S-400 system perhaps stems from the fact that the Russian air defense system has a powerful radar, which according to some experts, can detect even high-end stealth jets like the U.S. F-35. The S-400 radars will be able to observe the F-35 in all its flight profiles, thus being able to identify weak spots in stealth capability, David Stupples, a professor of electronic and radio systems at City, University London, was quoted as saying by Defence 1. Earlier this year, the outgoing U.S. Ambassador Kenneth Juster had urged India to reconsider its decision to acquire the Russian defense systems, stating that such acquisition by India may impede future technology transfers as well as defense cooperation between India and the U.S. During his visit to India in March this year, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin had also discussed the acquisition of the Russian S-400 systems, reported Reuters. We certainly urge all our allies, our partners to move away from Russian equipment, and really avoid any kind of acquisitions that would trigger sanctions on our behalf, had said. At the time, he had also stated that since no S-400 systems have been delivered to India yet, any discussions on sanctions had not been initiated. The U.S. relation with its NATO ally Turkey has been strained since the latter had gone ahead with its decision to acquire the S-400 systems despite U.S. objections. The U.S. had urged its allies to boycott the use of the Russian missile system, highlighting it as a threat to NATO defense systems. In 2019, Turkey received its first four S-400 batteries, which led the U.S. to exclude the country from its F-35 fighter jet program. Further. Turkey's military procurement was also reduced through a sanction on export licenses. The card shop prevents American companies from entering into any business deals with the countries facing U.S. sanctions. Some analysts are of the opinion that while the U.S. has imposed the card shop on Turkey, the case with India may be different. According to an earlier report by the year Asian Times, Turkey is a NATO ally and its acquisition of the Russian system may threaten the NATO defense systems. Further, Turkey has been predominantly a buyer of U.S. armaments over the years. On the other hand, New Delhi and Moscow are traditional defense partners and India acquires about 60% of its arms from Russia.
With regard to the US warnings, India maintained that the S-400 deal was its sovereign decision based on the entire spectrum of security challenges facing the country.